Well, good afternoon, guys. It is a new day, but we are getting ready to start setting up our um, goat shoot and stuff like that, the crowds, so we can start separating goats and we can start trimming and clipping goats. Um, the kids just got out of school. I've got the truck backed up over here again. We're going to hook that up and then we're going to come over here and uh, we're going to start unloading everything and try to get it all set up so we can start separating some goats so we're pretty excited i do like this now that it is open it's clean it's nice and it's smooth so i'm gonna go get the trailer and then i'll be back over here While you're out here, Steph, kind of get your opinion. What do you think about this mama pen? We go ahead and extend it all the way back over here to this corner. Square it off. Yeah, so we do that. It gives them more room, and then we can run our shoots and stuff back here. So when we separate it, mamas, can, we can put them over here, or vice versa if we need to clip them or whatever. So we can all run them in this way. You think that'll work? All right, guys, we are going to go ahead and unload this and um, start getting everything out. Um, like I said, I know I probably talked about it earlier in the video. This video is going to have two or three days in it because it's just doing different things. So I'm just glad we actually got to speak with uh, some of the owners of uh, Lakeland. We got to speak with uh, some of the reps as well. And uh, this is going to be a good addition to our farm. It just, I'm just super excited about the equipment and um, with all everything I've seen on it, if you've got goats and stuff, you're going to enjoy this, especially if um, you're starting from nothing. And that's kind of like what we have, but you know, it's just one of those deals. You got to gradually work yourself up and you're able to get some things. And you know, it's been about almost two years since we've been out here. So it's time and we'll see how it goes. Hey, what are you doing? Taking a break, trying to let some of this wind calm down. Playing one of my favorite games, June's Journey, which usually I do play it a little bit during the day, but most of the time me and Steph actually plays it in the evening time. We got some downtime, but um, it's got some really cool graphics. Come on in here, let me show you. So this game has got some amazing graphics, which I'm just opening it. But the faster you find these, the more, the more points you get, and it helps you uh, get clues to the mystery. There's a letter. Uh, stained glass is... Well, June's Journey yeah. is a hidden object mystery oh, game with the oh, capability of detecting stories taking you back to the glamour of 1920s. Each new level takes you further through the murder mystery story, so June Park can solve the murder of her sister and uncover her family's many, many secrets. And if you don't know, like, um, it will actually z show you where it's at. If you don't know what it is it's asking or if you just can't find it in there, I'm gonna have to give it some time here, which it's going to deduct points, but, oh, there it is right there, it's a valve. So once it goes here, once you complete this scenery here, It'll show you how many points you got, and then it totals them up, and then it gives you the stars to move on to next levels. Basically, we've already completed the first three or four levels, but I'm not going to show you what the other levels look like because I want you to go check them out. Um, it's a lot of fun. Like I say, is in the evening time, especially on the farm, or like now, just taking a break because the wind is so bad here. Um, it just gives you something to do. It's sit back and relax and just uh, enjoy. Uh, not being outside or enjoying time together, being competitive against one another, which me and Steph's always been like that. But um, like I say, guys, it is a lot of fun. It is free to download on Android, iPhone, or you can also download it on your PC through Facebook games. It's absolutely free to download. If you're interested in downloading it, I'll leave a link in the description box so you can download it or you can click on the QR code along the screen right up here and it'll take you straight to June's Journey. I hope you go out and try it out. I know a lot of y'all have tried it out and told me what levels you're on, but I would love to know what levels 
that you make it or what your levels you're on now. So if you're looking for a fun game to play, June's Journey's the one. My brother showed me a cool trick how to, um, y'all probably know this, but I didn't, how to store these, uh, your leftover slack. Yeah, I know I got it on there, but I don't know how I did it. I think, oh, it's like this. How to store your extra, your leftover. So that was pretty neat. You roll it up, bring it through here, and bring it back across like that. Anyways, thought I'd share that with you. You need me to show you how to do that? Maybe. It was actually snowing here this morning, and now it's almost too hot to have this on. So it's just back and forth, back and forth. We'll go on the other side here. You know how to undo a strap? Mm -hmm. She got it done. This one's a little bit, I don't know, maybe it needs some WD-40 because I already got it backwards, but I can't get it loose. WD-40 is kind of like duct tape in Oklahoma. Yeah. That's some of that, that Kevin, <laughs> that Kevin strapping. Oh, Kevin tied that too. He not, I guess I was the only one that didn't know how to tie like that. <laughs> huh. Shows you how much I'm a farmer. I want to know if you got a pocket knife in your pocket right now. No. Nope. Oh, no. Nope. Not, not a true farmer yet. They don't let me carry pocket knives. be coming out of this shirt pretty quick. It's one thing I like about the panels, they're super, super light. That keeps falling, so yeah. Put the goats in there. Yeah. Yeah, to tag them, or the goat gets inside there and they, you kind of shut it like that. All right. All right, guys, we got everything unloaded. And what we're doing now is Steph has got, um, Lakeland has got a, uh, a manual, assembly, assembly manual. And we're going to be, I don't know if you can see it here, but it kind of shows you, shows you how to set it up. There's different ways you can set it up. So um, we're going to go ahead and go through there and set, set it up the way, well, obviously this will set up the same way, but whichever side you want your pins on, you can decide what side you want your pins on. So we're going to set the camera over here and we will start setting it up from right there. Things for your dad. Go run over you there. want me to go ahead and stake this one in? Yeah. It goes up against the deal over there. Hold that down there. I can push this. 
Hold it where the hole goes. I don't remember if they go on the inside or the outside. I think there's a Eddie Family Farm one hanging up right by the dryer. All right, so we got that part figured out. We're moving up to this front part. And um, what we're going to put here is going to be this deal here. Uh, I think it's a let out chute or something like that. I'm putting it right here. Yeah, it goes right here. Watch out, sis. Watch out. What this is, is for over here working them. And I want to let, I don't want one to go in the spin chute. I open this up, let him out right here. Let him out right here. Close it. Or go here. So, we're getting there, slowly but surely. Piece of wood. Watch your fingers, sis. Hold on. There you go. Oh, they go in between? Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Yeah, we could have put, oh, that's what the, that's to, the wheels. Okay. I was just thinking that would have been a lot lighter if we would have used these wheels. I set up, up now. Um, I've got to figure out how Jason, we're going to do to the practice. pins because I know I'm going to Where's your cleats at? add on to that over there. That might be something that we start up, but bring that all the way around here and we'll attach it to here. We're going to call it for a day for today and what we'll be back tomorrow. What time did you tomorrow. do it at school? All right, guys, it's the next day. I know there's been several, several uh, days in this video or it might all go together, but I'm trying to make everything um, go as planned which we got everything set up today. I'm gonna to go ahead and show you how we set up our pins here. This is going to, I'm super, super excited because this is going to make it a lot safer for us to work our goats and a lot easier. So as y'all know, this is the corner of the mama pin. We're eventually going to extend it all the way down there, but for now it's right there. So what we're going to do is open this pin here put it up against this gate. They have no choice but run down here. Which, this is going to be closed right here so they can't get by. They have gotta come over here, which this will be open. We'll open this all the way. It is spin. And, and then the goats will go in like this. Yeah, and the goats will go in there, and that's when we can take our deal here and push them all the way. And, and these are little stops. These are little stops that can hit so the goats don't go all the way back. Same deal. Push them, push them. And um, which one of us will be right there uh, with the rope. I'll go on the other side here. Let me go on the other side and get this set up. This is going to make it really, really easy to work them and we can monitor their weight this way. And that way if we can see if one of them's sick or something like that by monitoring their weight. So basically I'll come over here. I'll come over here, lift this up, open this back gate here, pull this up, let some goats in. I can't go under that. <laughs> the goats are gonna come through here, gonna shut the gate back. We're gonna let it settle, get the correct weight. So at this point, when we're here, how we design this pin, so if it's just, um, say it's the babies, say it's a, a baby we wanna get weight on, we got another little crowl over there, we're going to open it, let the baby run out that way. Close it, close it. So say um, we want to go ahead and run these, uh, separate the mamas and the babies. Um, say we want to put the mamas over here um, and rerun them after we get the ones that have, have not had babies out there. All I gotta do is open this, same deal, boom, out. So what they call this is a sorting, 
I say a sorting cage or something like that. I'm super excited about this, guys. Um, you, you really don't know how much um, this means to us to be able to, to get something like this. Um, but it just goes to show hard work does pay off. You know, when we first started out here, this here was all grown up. There was this, we, we had to go through, clean this all out and, uh, you know, get everything adjusted. But just, it, it all depends on how bad you want something, to be honest with you. If, uh, if you want, if you want to be successful, you'll put it, you'll go all in. But if you don't want to be successful, you won't go all in. And uh, I'm telling you right now, YouTube is a lot more work than what a lot of people thinks. But um, I enjoy it. I'm glad I get to do it full time. And I greatly appreciate each and every one of y'all watching our videos. Because if it wasn't for y'all, we wouldn't get to share all these animals with y'all. Uh, we wouldn't get to grow our farm. But this here is thanks to y'all for watching our videos and just spending time with us on our lives and just being a huge part of our family. So anyways, coming over here, um, this panel here will be up just like this. Uh, go on that side there, baby. So they got a lever here. So when, once this, um, so once he runs in here, you got the gate there. All you do is basically push it, squeeze them together, okay? Once you squeeze, you can squeeze as tight as you want, okay? At this time, you got a, uh, you got a foot uh, pedal down here, and you hit this foot pedal, and then you can roll it over. You got them sideways here, so now you can get their feet, and you can actually trim them you know, trim them or, you know, bring them in here and give them a shot. Same deal if you want to bring them over here and uh, just run them in here. Say, you having problems, all you got, you got to watch your fingers here. Kick these back. You run one of them in here, you can squeeze them together. Then you can come down here and give them a shot or whatever you need. Um, or your ear tags. Once they get in here, you can ear tag them. But Because their heads will be in between here, right? Yes. It, you, yes, yes. Um, I'm glad they was at the expo. I got to see a lot of this, uh, how it works, but you can adjust these as wide as you want. And they got the bars down there, but, um, we're going to go ahead and run the goats up here because we do need to sort everything. And, uh, we're going to get some feed, put them all in this little crowd, and then we're going to run them up here and we'll see how it goes. All right. I went and got the drone and got everything, uh, set up. I'm going to put the drone up. That way we can kind of see how it works um, above air. Like I said, I'm gonna get some feed over here and we're gonna open that gate. We'll get all the goats in here and we'll kind of sort them the way they need to go. Today, we're just going to sort all of them and um, probably the next um, few days, we'll end up coming in trimming them and then, um, you know, we got to get an accurate count on all the goats, make sure they're in the system, get a weight on them. So it's going to take, it's going to take a little bit to get all this the way we want, but we want to monitor their weight and everything. That way we know if something's wrong with one of them. So obviously, um, We'll try to get them sorted and just kind of go through the, the scales and everything, get a few of them, but we're going to, um, we're going to just really run through them and get the mamas that need to be on the outside out there. And we're going to put some of these bigger babies on the outside too. So we can try to identify the other ones. Set it here so the goats can't get out. So we'll get them in here. And then we'll start here brownie run them over there let me get brownie in here hip 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 hey hey somebody start the path come on hey 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 somebody see it and go let them over there hey hey hip 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 
This is harder than what it looks. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Hey, come on up, Layton. We got to push them all the way up somehow. Come on. Come on. Come on, girls. Yeah, push them now. Hey. Push them now. They're coming. Push them. Come on. Come on, goats. Goats. We got some going now. There you go. Keep them coming, son. Keep them coming. <gasps> hustle, hustle, Crunched. hustle. Goats, goats, goats. Goats, goats, goats. Best karate kid there was. Goats, Come on. goats, goats. Hey. All right, run up here, son. Run up here, run up here, run up here. Close it. Uh, for right now, yeah. Don't let, don't let this one by. Don't let this one by. Don't. Ah. All right, there we go. Just let him go. Let him go. All right, we'll go Damn. ahead and work these here. And then we'll come back and get these. My hip. Let me uh, get over here and get these other ones pushed in. And then we'll come back and get the rest of them. Okay. All right. Obviously, that didn't go as planned. But we're going to go ahead and get some of them ran up here. And then we'll come back and get the rest of them. Shut this back. Come on, girls. Keep it right there. Do not let them go. 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 Go, 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 go. Okay, now we got those in there. Go, 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 Let's go, ho! Go, 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 come on, come on girls, come on girls, hey! Back, back. Hip, hip, hip. See, these little ones are getting out. Come on, come on, get in there, come on, hey, 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 get in there girls, get in there, come on, come on, come on. Hey, 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 Try hey, that hey. on me. Get these other ones here. I've got this. Move it right there. All right, guys, so what we're going to be doing now is uh, we're just going to kind of start getting them used to it. So we're going to open this gate. Hip, 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 hip. Come on. Just trying to get them used to it. Go, 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 go. All right, so hold on, hold on. Back up. All right, we are right about 35 pounds. So this one here is going to go um, on that very outside. Who is that? That is the number? Yeah, 22. 22. We'll put her right there. All right, turn around. Come on. Come on, girls. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. All right, shut that gate. You gotta lift oh. that up there. I was grabbing the wrong one. All right, one. open that door. No, you don't, yeah, you don't have to do anything with that. All right, come on, girls. Come on, turn around. Come on, Pennywise. Hey, hey, it ain't gonna hurt you. Close it. Got about a 70 pounds, okay, 70 pounds. 70 pounds? Yep. All right. Go ahead and kick her out, put her on the outside. All right. Open the gate. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Cool. There you go, close it up. We're looking at about 70, uh, 70 65. 65. 65? Yeah. You gotta figure out if she's got babies. Guys, so what we're trying to do is try to get a routine going, trying to get them used to it. That way they're not scared. Um, we've had some hiccups. Uh, forgot to have the gate wired, but we're going to go continue pushing them through real quick. So now we'll try Mama G out here, see if it's, this is how it's supposed to be. Got to squeeze that. Look at her feet. And yes, we do need to get some clippers. I've got, I've got some ordered. As you can see here, 
we got her on her side here. Her uh, feet do need to be trimmed, in which um, I've got some clippers ordered, and we'll get that trimmed. And then uh, and we'll come back just like this. Pop it. Oh, that pop was fairly it. easy. Pop it. Let her hit it. Come on, Mom. Good job. Good job. Then you reload it like this. Let them come in. All right. Hopefully she hits that and it catches her. There we there go. Enough. Just like that. It finally works. That way you don't get them nervous. We're going to hit this, roll them over. Take a look at her feet here. And as you see here, it does need to be cleaned yep. and trimmed. And um, that's one reason why we're super excited about getting this equipment so we can start handling um, the animals like we need to. The other thing here is I can look and see if she's still got milk or if she's getting close if I need to, um, which I know she's milk. a mama. She's a new one. Um, <laughs> she's a new mama, so we're going to kick her out over here. I'm going to kick them all out in the same pen today. We're going to have to resort them tomorrow. Push down on it. Oh. There it is. It comes back. Pop that. Watch your finger. Pop that. Closes. Open there. We'll get there. Let him in, let him in, let him in. She's got to run out. Hip, hip, go, go, go. Run out. There it is. Hit the stomach there. Take a look at her feet real quick. Whoa, Whoa. lay it off of it. Oh. See what her milk looks like. Bring it back, it's locked. Push down on it. Oh, yeah, push down. Don't grab that. Go, go. There we go, we're getting there. So I think what we'll start doing to get them all used to it is we will start running them through this every day until they get used to it and have their feet sitting on the other side. All of it? Yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna wire this open here so the goats can actually run through here. I want them to get used to it. I think that will be the best thing we can do. So leave it all open. Except for these two pins, right? Yeah, so that's the deal. It's just new to them and they're scared. So we're going to wire this open that way they can run back and forth in here to get something to eat. And we're going to actually put food in here and they have to come through here to get something to eat. Man, only if they would do that when we're actually working. Yeah, see, now they're running. That's the biggest deal. We gotta let them get used to it um, because they've never seen this. Um, we're this new one. at it, so they obviously can tell that something ain't right. This is all new to them. so. They get used to it, then we'll start working them. Um, there's no need to fight them like that. I don't want to stress them out um, like that. So, um, but we got to go through this whole uh, scenario. Uh, th think it's going to be a great, great tool to the farm. Um, it's just going to take a little bit of time to get our goats used to it. After that, it won't be no big deal. We can run them through all the time and trim them. Um, and as the new ones get, you know, older, They'll be used to it. So, all right, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today. We're getting ready to go to the ball game and watch the kids play some uh, baseball and softball. Um, like I said earlier, guys, don't forget about June's Journey. If you're looking for an awesome game to sit back and relax and just have a, a great time, especially with the graphics and the hidden object stuff, I'm going to leave a link in the description box or you can click on this QR code. Go download it. Go have some fun. Hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless.